Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about resources. This is an incredibly versatile topic, especially considering my target audience is mostly at the very beginning stages of their political careers. But in the interest of keeping my followers' attention, I'll keep it short, or at least try. A word of warning, this won't be nearly as thorough as I'd like it to be, but I trust you to do your own research. Right now, I believe the most important thing as aspiring elected officials is to pursue a nonpartisan route towards getting things done. Civil discourse is of the utmost importance. While it may be temporarily fun to incite partisan rhetoric on a large scale, ultimately, this is not what your constituents will likely want for the long term. I may not have experience as an elected official, but throughout my time observing municipal, statewide, and nationally elected officials over the years, I've come to see that this is an effective way to govern and to set a good example, especially considering what we all saw play out on a national scale this past presidential campaign season. Since this was the case, I recommend you check out organizations like the National Institute for Civil Discourse, the National Coalition for Dialogue and Deliberation, and the International Association for public participation. These have been the standard bearers for me for fostering nonpartisan dialogue. I've also found that Civicus, World Alliance for Citizen Participation, Everyday Democracy, and Public Agenda would likely be good places to start. Of course, that's not covering nonpartisan youth focused organizations like the International Youth Network, the, Mo the Millennial Action Project, and Young People Four. And that's not even getting into resources for people under 35 who have already begun their political careers. Now, far be it from me, a private citizen, well, thus far, to suggest to these officials what to check out, but I want to make sure I cover this for information's sake. On the municipal level, which is where everyone in my target audience either currently is or is looking to go, there are many organizations to look at. This list includes the National League of Cities, United Cities and Local Governments, and the United States Conference of Mayors. Of course, this list of organizations is all geared towards substantiating and rounding out political experience. In order to become adept at one's job of being, or becoming, a politician, there are far more aspects of one's life that must be established or improved. For speaking, there's Toastmaster, Toastmasters International. I also highly recommend watching TED Talks, which are informative, professional, and entertaining, and are in soundbite format to boot. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. For community involvement, join your local chapter of Rotary International or Lions Club International. For volunteering, check out websites like All for Good or Volunteer Match. Of course, this doesn't even get into things like acting, for maintaining your stage and camera presences, or logic and reasoning, to get into and graduate from law school, or journalism to keep up on local to worldwide events, or sociology to analyze social, social situations from one-on-one -on -one meetings to group conferences, or writing to get your point across and to sway voters, perhaps even writing your own speeches, or preserving your personal history to ensure your voters, and the public at large, have an idea of where you're coming from and what you consider important, or preserving personal history to ensure that your life is well documented before you make it big, or social media to reach people critical to your past, present, and future, not just in your professional life, but your personal life as well. You get the picture. There's a ton involved in becoming and staying an effective politician. And uh, now you see why 20 years isn't nearly enough to rise through the ranks like I'd want to. This vlog entry doesn't nearly go into the level of detail I'd need to if I were professionally advising someone on a career path as a politician. But I hope you found this coverall video useful in any event. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.